Alright, this video is a bit overdue, but I still figured I'd give my two cents on some of the stuff that came out of E3 2015. Most people found this to be a pretty great E3 as there were reveals that got everybody excited. The Final Fantasy VII Remake, Shenmue 3, and the revival of The Last Guardian to name a few. I found those reveals to be pretty amazing, but since I'm not a fan of those games and franchises, I didn't really lose my mind. And that's my loss, unfortunately. Cuphead looks pretty cool and Rare Replay and Sea of Thieves definitely caught my interest and you can bet I'll be talking about those two in particular soon enough. But I was expecting some big things out of Nintendo this year. And while I usually try to keep my expectations low for these kind of things, this year seemed promising. Turns out it was pretty underwhelming. Everything they showed was either something I've already seen or it wasn't all that exciting to begin with. Mario and Luigi Paper Jam and Zelda seem interesting, but they're both reusing a lot of assets from games that came out not too long ago and they didn't get me too excited. Mario Tennis looks okay, Wooly World I've already seen to death, and Mario Maker, which I am quite excited for, I have seen a ton of since it was announced at last year's E3, and at the Nintendo World Championships for that matter. But let's talk about Star Fox. Of all the things that I knew was coming, Star Fox was the big thing I was wanting to see. But after watching the trailer and some of the treehouse footage, I noticed that it's also not all that new. Maybe it's just me, but I am getting sick and tired of Star Fox going through the reboot treatment yet again. The core series is pretty much all the same game at this point. We get Star Fox 1, and the second game was cancelled for Star Fox 64, which is actually a remake of the first game. If we skip over the Star Fox games that most people don't care for, we get to Star Fox 64 3D, a remake of a remake. Then we get to Zero, a reimagining of the series with its roots in Star Fox 64. And it's painfully obvious this time, specifically in the voiceover department. A lot of the voice clips, though re-recorded, are ripped straight from Star Fox 64, and I don't mean they sound similar, I mean verbatim. You're becoming more like your father. You're becoming more like your father. You can't beat me. I've got a better gift. You can't beat me. I got a better gift. My emperor, I failed you. My emperor, I failed you. You could argue that these are just placeholders for the E3 demo, but for some reason, I can see these being in the final product. And I'm fine with trading familiar ground in new games of older franchises, but it's getting a little excessive for me in Star Fox. So much so, I feel like that if I didn't play Zero, I wouldn't be missing much. And even though it had its flaws, Star Fox had a pretty interesting progression in its story, world, and characters up to Star Fox Command. But all that seems to have been thrown out the window just so we can DO A BARREL ROLL for the 50 millionth time. Is it actually called Zero because we keep hitting the reset button on the franchise? Why don't we just call it Star Fox Back to Square One, huh? Now, in all seriousness, I'm sure the game is gonna be great when it comes out, and I'm more than willing to give it a fair shot when it does. But right now, it's all too familiar for me to get extremely excited for. I've waited so long for an all-new game in the series, so it's a bit of a letdown seeing Star Fox 64, more or less, again. Nintendo's event overall left me pretty disappointed, and judging from the Wii U stuff they showed, or lack thereof, it's it's leading me to believe, as much as I'd hate to think it, that the Wii U is pretty much dead at this point. It hasn't even been three years yet, and we're already looking ahead to Nintendo's next console like the Wii U is as old as dirt. And considering I spent nearly $400 on this stupid thing, it's making me feel like I got gypped, and frankly, I'm kind of upset. I will say the Muppets were really cool though, you can't go wrong with the Muppets. So yeah, those were my thoughts on E3, mostly from Nintendo. I'm sorry if this is the first video of mine you've ever seen, this isn't how I usually Am. I'm typically a lot more easygoing, positive, and cheerful than what you have just seen. But if you want, let me know what you guys thought of E3. Anything you really liked, anything you didn't like, just let me know in the comments below. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Later!